Welcome back to The Preacher Plays, and boy, I tell you, he does play poorly. We're on the way up because uh, we're going to do a little bit of wrapping around and uh, head back to uh, the bridge where the Hellkite Dragon was because eventually we're going to have to destroy him. Well, no, I'm not worried about destroying him right now, but eventually I am going to have to... Uh, Good night. Anyhow, these two guys and their buddy over here in the corner. Yeah, you know, the one likes La Perry. He's always fun. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. You're not going to parry me, dude. Good night. Now, one of the things I've got to do is race down this way, down this way. I really don't need those skulls, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, that really hurt, man. Goodbye. Okay. Now, what's about to happen is I have to race up that bridge. And when I do, what's his face is going to come back. got roasty up there, didn't it? Don't hurt me. Oh, he hurt me. Goofy thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I grabbed the basement key earlier, so that'll at least get me there. And we'll slide down the nice long ladder. Oh man, we really get the feeling that we are going way, way down now. Now, uh, in order to make things easier upon myself later, I'm going to open up this little shortcut that Yeah, they don't seem to care about me, so. And now it's the dogs. I never seem to have too much luck with the dogs here, so.
Good night, puppy. All right. Oop. All right, I will be back in just a moment. All right, well, I know I said I'd be right back, and, and I was. I had a phone call that I had to answer. And uh, right now, I've got some decisions to make. I think I bought the residence key. Please tell me I did. Not that I really want to deal with... Uh... Somebody, anybody. Yeah, here's the dope. How, how did this... I don't know how it happened. It happened because you're an incompetent magician. Oh, look at there. I got the residence key. Hey, you're just rolling around breaking the barrels that you were incapable of breaking, so there's that. Oh, sorcerer junk, none of which I'm actually going to use. Bottomless box is becoming more and more necessary. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Yes, because you don't have an open spell. I am thanks to you. You know, why doesn't this guy have an open spell? I, you know, seriously. Hello, I'm fine. I have my oh, yes, you're fine. Your sorcery has served you so well because you're a loser. All right. Uh, I think there's some stuff back here, but I hate these fire welding guys. These fire guys are just... There you go. You're dead. Goodbye. Yeah, you guys are just horrible. Twin humanities on a female corpse. Surprise, surprise. It kind of makes you wonder... Um, Especially when you read the fire keepers, uh, the description of the fire keepers armor. Yeah, there you go. Um, just exactly. Da, 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 da. I don't remember when the break open point is, but no. Oh, that'd be a shame. Yeah, this is an easy fix because these jerks have sliced my throat too many times. Is there anything else I need down here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, this guy is going to... Goodbye. Mail bre oh, no. The mail breaker is not in there. Mail breaker is in here. Yeah. I don't need it. But I've got it. This guy dropped a thing. Oh, it's a knife. Ah, I don't know if I want to keep that knife. I probably won't, actually. I don't think I'm going to use it. This is supposed to be an S-Stock only playthrough, just because, uh, well, because I want to. And there's nothing there to stop me. And doggies. We've got doggies down here? Yeah, we should have doggies down here.
There we go. I hate doggies. Ooh, look at all the blistering flesh on him. Okay. Dark Souls doggies are the worst doggies. I'm not a fan of dogs anyhow. See, I grew up with allergies. And, uh... Yeah. Anyhow, I grew up with pretty terrible allergies, and the result, basically, of that was that I, uh... Oh, that's right. They killed a, flea, a, sh a fellow thief. Oh, well. There is no honor among thieves. Uh, the result of being raised with these horrible allergies is that uh, I spent a lot of time in the hospital, spent a lot of time in the emergency room, spent a lot of time uh, taking um, injections and getting uh, breathing treatments. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I just have absolutely no love for animals. Man, I'm playing horribly. But then again, that is kind of the title of what I've got going on here. The preacher does play, but he plays horribly. All right, I want to see. Uh, well, I'll pick this up, and then I'm going to go unlock that passageway. And since I'm going to be spending some time in the depths, I'm going to need some antidotes and blah, 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 blah. Maybe some poison arrows, because poison arrows are always welcome. Oops, that's right. Hello. Oh, creepy old lady. You still have your senses about you. No, no, I don't. All right. I want to buy. Hmm. Oh, no. I will need those eventually. Poison arrows. Hold on a second. And those are a hundred bucks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to buy some poison arrows. Goodbye. I'm out of money now. Come again if you please. Uh, you only want me for my money. You know what? Ordinarily, I would try to go away and come back, but... I'm hoping, even though it's kind of irrational, that maybe I'll be able to get the stupid demon guy, goat demon, early. I don't think I will. It usually takes me several deaths, uh, mostly because I play poorly, and you guys know all that. Porch, torches, torch, smoke. Yeah, there's no summons for this, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate. Okay. Um, we might as well start dying to this guy. That's what always happens to me anyhow, so... Yeah. It started out so well, but... Oh, right, goodbye. Record this for the second time in a row. Because I did try to record this once. But uh, I'm doing it in post because... For some reason, uh, during uh, some kind of an intense battle, I never feel comfortable enough talking, and I just sit there and breathe into the microphone. Sorry about that. I will be adjusting my microphone in the future, so hopefully it won't be as big of an issue as it has been. One dog is dispatched, another one's chasing me around in circles. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy uh, around the stairs. That's what I'm going to do while a dog hangs on on me. The ragdolling effect of this uh, just, just makes it hilarious. Now, if I bounce off the wall, 
if I'd been able to dispatch that dog, the, uh, the whole thing might have gone just a little bit easier, but I'm going to stand here with my back to the enemies and drink my Estus, I guess. Finally, doggo number two is gone. Jump attack. Even though it looks like it missed, I got 113 points of damage, so there was something. So it was kind of a glancing blow. And I've gotten, I've gotten much better, I think, at fighting these uh, Capra Demons in particular um, since... But uh, never mind, this particular fight, I've never gotten easy. Um, I have dealt with all kinds of misery and woe, just like everybody else trying to do the Capra Demon fight. And it's this enclosed, cramped space. I can't imagine why a goat demon would want to move in there, uh, according to the guy that's selling you some wares down there and petting his non-existent pet. But uh, Yulia would approve that the goat demon dies. Anyhow, I don't know why he'd want to move in down here and why he didn't have a couple of dogs just buddied up with him. Uh, but, you know, he does serve as a sufficient role number of players, especially on their first time through, and at least once on this playthrough for me. Gravity did the other job, but dodge. Dodge. No, don't dodge. Just take the damage and let your stamina be depleted. It's beautiful. You jump again. Yep, dodge. Okay. Jump up. Just about to finish him off, I think. Let's see. I, did I just give it away? I'm sorry. Poke him in the head, take some damage. Poke. Gone. Got him. I never have liked him. Oh, I got the Demon's Great Machete. Of course, I'm getting all the good weapons since I've committed myself to coming through with just one. <sighs> okay, well, that's fine. Let's go down and unlock the depths. And I think I remember that there is a uh, Ember coming up right away, which means we need to go see Mr. Andre. Yep, key to the depths. All right, well, welcome to the depths where nothing is ever as easy as you might hope it would be. Uh, this little gauntlet here with these hollows uh, drives me absolutely crazy, but everything else seems to do the same. Wait for this guy. Nope, jump down, get him. All right. Uh, there's some loot down here that you might want to have. This is just a soul item. Don't hurt me. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Soul of a nameless soldier. See that lady over there? She is waiting to jump down on you. I should just... Let's see here. Get some poison arrows. I wonder if this will work. Let's see, but I think she's... Let's see if she falls down after the first hit. Let's just slowly take aim. Maybe a nice headshot. Click. Ooh, yep, she's down. And now there's not much I can do unless... Nope, she's not going to back up. So... Oh, well. Well, I tried. Would have been kind of fun to be able to poison her from where she was at. and But now she's loose and she's free and, you know, she'll be coming for me. No pun intended, or no rhyme intended. And here we come. Maybe. Playing awfully cautious. I'm a cautious player. And uh, kind of used to that. This can be an easy way to prevent these guys from ganging up on you because these torch hollows, they can just do some serious damage. Why am I... I don't know. Free aiming instead of using the lock-on because the lock-on would have made this yeah, easier. Whatever. Got a couple of hard, harder guys down. And now, look around. There's the butcher over there cutting up some poor sot. And uh, Torch Hollow, careful. Don't yeah, bait his attack. And hit him in the middle of the attack. And whatever. Those two are gone. One more around the corner here. And for some reason, this guy's always giving me problems. 
I think he's got a... <laughs> I have really got to stop turtling like this. Oh well. Not much I can do about it, I suppose. Let's look around. Is there any way that I can shoot this dude in the head? Let's see. One, two, three, four, uh, not five. You know, I think if I'd have used poison arrows, she would have been... Oh, she is poisoned. I guess I did use poison arrows. This is this is my memory. Badly affecting me, I guess. You break that furniture for me, will you? Ouch. At least my shield uh, stops some of that. Okay. I wonder if she... I know that that particular blade um, captures some health of the victim. I wonder if that makes her Goodbye. heal. <laughs> I'd have to actually see some numbers to see if it happened. Yeah, there should be a little doggy down here. Goodbye, doggy. And I know there's a doggy there. Hello. Need that. And, oh yes, these guys. Well, actually, do I need that right now? I think right now all I need to do is... Come around here, there ought to be a, a butcher lady. Oh, look at her. Just all looking lovely. Here, let's have a drink of juice. Hi, it's me. Ooh, uh, that poise break. Goodbye. Oh, I gotta pick up my sack. Yes. Okay. Let's go see if we can get Laurentius, one of the coolest guys in the game forever. You. Yes, you. Here, over here. Please. Hi, I got your, I got your free. Can you... I know you won't. Matter of fact. Oh, hello there. Yeah, good deal. Now, um, hmm, dogs, thing, gotta go that way. Okay, the dogs didn't follow. Good, I didn't want to mess with the dogs. I don't like the dogs. They're bad doggies. Okay. Now I'm getting into a horrible spot. And it is a horrible spot. Oh, look, there's a big rat. What am I going to do about that big rat? Well, I'm going to kill it. But first, I want to go over here. And I want to get this extremely useful... Yeah. Bloom! Spider shield. That'll help with the poison. In fact, let's just go ahead and... Um, it's heavier. Oh, it's got... Okay.
I think we might have to stick to that. Let's see here. Huh. You know what? I wonder how much damage does that do? Eh, I don't want to do that yet. Humanity. That other soul item. Sewer chamber key. I'm going to need that here in just a minute. There's nothing else over here that I need to see. So let's go down the left side. Because down the left side is the only safe side. Oh, can I go up there? I don't think I can go up there yet. Dang it. I have to open it, don't I? Oh, wait. It let me. I forgot that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hooray, Sewer Chamber Key. Cool. Well, I can't kindle it while I'm still hollow, but do I want to unhollow? I don't know. I'll tell you what, now that I'm down here, I'm going to try and make my way back to the surface. Because I want what Laurentius is offering me. Okay. You guys are all done playing around? Good. Let's go up here. Talk to Laurentius, my main man, the best guy in the game. Oh, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safe. I have my pyromancy of the greatest. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I think you have a knack for it. I'll be pleased to help you. Uh, I'm... No, I do not find the magics yeah, on savory. Here, first take this. Thank you, I will. A flame from the great swamp. Well, let's get started right now. We are going to purchase... Hmm. Now, what's, what's going to do me best? A fire orb? Combustion? I need... I got six uses of fire orb. You know what? That's that's going to be good enough. I'm not going to go crazy with that. I bet I need an attunement slot, which means I'm going to have to dump money in that spot. I don't really want to do that, but I just realized what a foolish mistake that was. We are going to use a homer bone, go back where I need to be.
Now let's level up, and then we're going to call this one quits for now. Um, well, if I were going to do one point to attunement, I'd get a slot for the fire. Okay, I'm going to do that because I spent all that money. I'm going to do it. And then, um, dexterity. And one more point. Do I want another point in dexterity? Uh, or do I want a point in vitality? Yeah, let's do... You know what? Let's go for damage right now. Good. That's going to be a good place for us to quit. And now... I can attune a fireball, because I have one. And the only thing I need to do is consider putting my pyromancy flame right there. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. Okay. That's going to be good for different things. I am not really all that interested in um, a long process of um, farming and going through this region. So really, I'm just going to go down there and kill the dragon, or at least fail doing it. So let's reverse hallowing. And we'll kindle the fire. And next time, we'll see whether or not we can actually accomplish the task I came down here for. Right? All right. So for that, I'll see you next time on The Preacher Plays.